All right, let's jump back to the weather now as we take a live look outside. A beautiful fall day. I said earlier the conditions were a little bit chilly. Some might not like it. Denise said, not me. <laughs> Nikki, though, I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit different. It's, it's okay. I'll just say it's okay. It's a little cool, but I'll take you, it. You're easing into it. You're, I'm easing you're, into you're, it. It's you're, October. You're now a resident of the Mid-Atlantic. I was just going so you have to say. Okay, have to immerse just, yourself just in Just rub it in. in. I thought about you this morning. Yeah, a little bit chilly out there. We've got several more nights of temps in the 40s, but we're going to be back up close to 80 by the weekend. So there you Ooh. go. You got some warmer weather on our way. Let's talk about, though, our friends down in Florida. Of course, this is the last thing they need, but another major hurricane headed that way. And you can see I showed this earlier and as the sun gets lower in the sky you can kind of see that stadium effect that they talk about all the time with the eye beginning to reappear here and you, you probably notice notice when we loop this how we're getting these little waves coming out from the center of the storm those are called gravity waves this is a really good indication that the storm is intensifying and you can also see these little swirls on the inside of the eye we call that a pinwheel eye very indicative of a powerful hurricane and that's exactly what's happening right now after some brief weakening last night into this morning winds are back up to 165 pressure 918 millibars Right now, it still looks like the forecast track takes it into areas just south of Tampa. That's one thing we've noticed today is that the forecast tracks have been shifting a little bit farther towards the south. So we're talking Manatee, Sarasota County. The cone, though, still goes all the way down towards Charlotte Harbor, the Cape, Sanibel, down towards Fort Myers. So we may be looking at a landfall down that far, but that's why the cone is the way it is. These are our forecast tracks here. Could they be anywhere from up towards Pinellas, Hillsborough County, all the way southward? to Sarasota as well as Charlotte County. So we'll be watching that very carefully. Either way you look at it, it is going to be a powerful hurricane when it approaches. We do expect some weakening, big storm surge, and strong winds well inland, something we're going to be watching very carefully over the next day or so. Around here, though, chilly nights, sunny, warm afternoons, and again, we just showed you where Milton's headed, headed towards Florida. As temperatures in the 60s and 70s. Looks like it's going to be another pleasant evening, but cooling off after sunset quickly with the dry air in place. Temps tonight, 40s and 50s. High pressure still in control of our weather. Again, future cast showing a beautiful day for tomorrow. High temperatures for tomorrow afternoon. Again, back into the upper 60s to around 70. A bit of a setback on Thursday. Another front's coming through. That'll drop us back into the mid-60s. 40s again here for at least low to mid-40s as we go into Thursday night and Friday morning. But then as we head into the weekend, temperatures really warming up across the area. Here's your Wednesday forecast. 40s and 50s in the morning. Near 70 here during the afternoon. And zero chances for rain all the way through the first part of the weekend, so looking pretty good there. And again, again, if you're going to be headed towards the Ravens game on Sunday, we're looking at temperatures into the mid to upper 70s with plenty of sunshine. So we've actually warmed the forecast up here for your Sunday. Here's your first alert, 7-day forecast, 70 tomorrow, a little bit cooler on Thursday, 65. Lows at night, well down to the 40s. The coldest night will be Thursday night down to 42, back up to near 80 for Saturday and Sunday. Gorgeous weekend on tap. And then another cold front arrives for early next week, dropping us back into the 40s for overnight lows Ooh, heading into early next week. Enjoy 40s. it while we have it. Get that ready. hurts. That hurts to hear. All right.